So while the presentation is loading, so the actually the, the coverage of the uh, the land transportation office uh, administrative administrative order. Uh, it's, it's covering both the recording and the registration. So there has been some discussions about the safety. And I believe back in 2019, when we had this discussion, when we heard LTO presenting the one of the draft versions then, um, they have also reached out to the different LTO district heads, dif district offices. And there was a, a general... Uh, call to, you know, we should really push for ensuring the safety. So perhaps some of these should only be allowed on private roads or subdivisions. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look at that, what the regulations are. If you're, this is the first time that you will hear it, uh, please also let us know if you have questions and clarifications, uh, if there are not, uh, if there are certain provisions that is not, that, that are not so clear. Uh, so maybe next to, well, next slide. Yeah, so this is the administrative order, and we can also circulate that and share that with you uh, via email. So we also have your uh, contact details uh, from the registration, so we can also disseminate this. Uh, next slide. So the scope of the administrative order is on the classification, registration, and operation of uh, EVs. So um, Generally, the, the vehicles that are covered include the personal mobility scooters, uh, electric, uh, electric kick scooters, um, the L category L, um, which is what we're going to really touch on this uh, today. And we also have M1, M2, M3 categories, which are the e-cars, e-jeeps, uh, e-buses. And then uh, we also have category N, which are e-trucks. So um, next just click one. Uh, so that's going to be the scope of our discussion. We'll uh, zoom in on the uh, two and three pillars. Um, next slide. So um, we get to it already on the, the categories of EV. So let's start off with the um, sections three and 3.1 and 3.2 basically of, of the, the order of the AO. And for personal mobility scooter and electric kick scooter, um, they are, uh, according to the law, according to the, the regulation, um, they are allowed only on, on private roads and walkways, the personal mobility scooter. So that is all the image on the left side. And uh, those are with a maximum speed of uh, 12. 0.5 kph. So they're not allowed to, uh, they're not required to be registered or recorded, um, no age limit and no license required for that. Uh, and on the other hand, we also, uh, the, the order also has um, provisions for electric kick scooter, which are also just allowed on private or barangay roads. Um, I believe that would also be um, uh, subdivisions, uh, so not going further to the local roads. Uh, as an LG, you are probably most more familiar with the classification of roads, um, and so you're more able to follow this discussion, uh, hopefully. But uh, if you have questions, also uh, you can also clarify that via the chat box, um, and we can also set up a, a more deep, a deeper dive with with LTO. No, so and now the L category are what we call now the e-bikes, uh, e-mopeds, or uh, electric two wheelers. So with or without pedals, uh, with speed ranging from 25 uh, kilometers per hour uh, to 50 kilometers per hour. So they're allowed on private and barangay roads um, and also local roads for the L1B category, uh, provided that they use the outermost part closest to the edge, close, closest to the edge of the, the road. So that is according to the at the AO. Uh, for that, only recording is required, so not registration. Um, so meaning the dri driver's license registrations are both not required. Uh, so for safety reasons, they have also, uh, you, you will also notice the, the difference in the helmet requirements. So it's a bicycle helmet and the uh, motorcycle helmet. Uh, next slide. Uh, for the L2, a and the L2B, which are the e-moped uh, three wheelers. So let's go first to the L2A. These are like the, the three wheeler with or without pedals, maximum speed of 25 kph. 
the operation is rather the same and the registration is also not required. So only recording. It can pass through uh, main thoroughfares, so or, or national roads for the purpose of cro crossing only. On the other hand, the L2B category three wheels with a maximum speed of 50 kph, the operation may go beyond private roads up to the local roads, provided that uh, the outermost part of the road close to the edge uh, are going to be used only. So it also can pass through main thoroughfares, uh, but only for crossing purposes. So uh, for this one, registration is already required um, and hence the driver's license. So you would recall, um, uh, we didn't have a chance to compare this side by side with uh, uh, this, the presentation earlier of Verizon of, of BERT on the, the ASEAN recommendations, but uh, perhaps that's something we can do after and see where, where are we missing uh, on the, what are we missing in the regulations? Yeah, uh, next slide. And the L3, so, these are now the electric motorcycles. Uh, it's the same rather as conventional ones. So they are allowed in private roads, national roads, um, except in limited access highways, okay? So normally the speeds there are faster. So all should have valid motorcycle driver licenses. And this is now can, this now can be used for uh, public transport use as opposed to the ones prior, I believe. Okay. Uh, next slide. For the L4 and L5, which are the e-trikes uh, or electric three-wheelers, no? so uh, they may be allowed, so L4 and L5, they may be allowed to go beyond local roads However, concerned LGUs can authorize uh, these types of EVs, uh, whether they're private or for hire, to, to use the national highways or the main thoroughfares. But that will be subject to an ordinance and will be constrained to the outermost uh, lane of the highway. So same as before, it's permitted uh, along limited access highways um, as according to the stipulations. So um, from a presentation of, of LTO it, back in 2019, um, they also mentioned that like, if you look at the, the provinces in the Philippines, uh, there are really no alternate routes to national highways. So uh, LTO is really allowing the LGUs to decide on this matter, you know, to issue the suitable ordinances for especially the ATREX. So you would see in some uh, provinces, perhaps some of you who are coming outside of Metro Manila might be familiar with this scenario. Um, so that is one of the considerations that they had in uh, developing it as such. So the drivers now then uh, must bear a driver's license and similar to the motor tricycle that we see now, helmet is uh, not uh, required for e-trikes. So, um, so actually for the L6 and 7, maybe uh, I'll go back up one slide. Uh, I forgot to cover this. So for the L6 and 7, these are the e-quad recycles or, or e-quads with a maximum <clears throat> speed of uh, 50 kph. Uh, these can pass through um, main thoroughfares for crossing only uh, when the road um, for crossing. Yeah, I think, yeah, for crossing only. So concerned LGUs can also authorize these types, whether for private or for hire, uh, to traverse the national highways or the main thoroughfares, but that, that has to be subject to an ordinance. Uh, they can only allow it through an ordinance and should only be and but will only be constrained to the outermost uh, uh, lane of the highway. So all of these that are shown on the screen are also prohibited uh, along limited access highways. Um, and these may be used for public transport. 
So um, I wonder, so this is probably the first time for some of the participants to you know, have a good look at the different uh, L category regulations. Uh, if you go to the next slide, I believe that would be a summary of the, uh, the smaller boats up to the L category. Uh, we no longer touched on the, the category M and N in this uh, presentation, uh, but we are happy to just share with you the, the file from the LTO that's been released already, uh, I think earlier this year, first half of this year. Um, so this shows the comparison or the, the summary for the smaller modes of, uh, of EVs. So we can go back again later to this slide, uh, but you would see here uh, how some of the regulations now would uh, require uh, the recording um, of the EVs uh, and from what category now the LTO is requiring, requiring the registration uh, of the L category L EVs. Um, the age limit, uh, I believe um, this is something that we can probably uh, talk a little bit more with, uh, I mean, discuss a bit, a bit more with the national government. Um, I, it's not uh, explained. Uh, I would say that the entire um, uh, public transport use, the license, the age limit, et cetera, are, are not fully elaborated there. Uh, but I believe further provisions or further uh, iterations of that would probably come in uh, soon. But we, would, we can check with the LTO on that. So we have also put in another slide. I think that comes next. Uh, the image, uh, at least the, the registration, the re regulation, and also the motor vehicle research charge. So this shows again the registration regulations. And I believe there are there have been some questions coming from the different local government units, at least from uh, our consultations with, from, you know, from other projects, et cetera, but our conversations that we had with other LGUs, there is a need for to clarify what then would the uh, the LG role be in terms of recording uh, this smaller modes of transport and the data the types of data and information that will be collected, etc. Um, so those are some discussion points that can be had afterwards. So um, three more slides after this, I believe, are more relevant for the manufacturers, assemblers, and importers. So we can probably skip that uh, in the interest of time. Um, so yeah, maybe I can uh, skip these parts already. So th that is the overview of the Land Transportation Office Administrative Order. Uh, and yeah, I'm presenting that on behalf of LTO. And if you have clarifications, I believe we can also um, have a bit of discussion on that. If there are none, then we can um, disseminate the regulations and perhaps have a bit more dialogue with different LGUs on this.